If you guys know me at all by now, you know that I love surprises. Brand new web series that are way better than they have any right to be, sudden updates to projects I've already covered, and best of all, moments of the dead coming back to life. Seemingly dead anyway. Since last summer, I've maintained a very firm position that Camdrome, a mysterious internet monster that seems to feed on recorded acts of violence, has just been dormant and not dead. Everyone who asked me received the same response. Camdrome is in sleep mode or rebooting. I'm positive it's only in standby. What I didn't have an answer for was when it would come back, or how. We would just have to wait and see. If you aren't familiar with the Camdrome case, I have two videos to get you all caught up. It would be one video, but this is the second time the project has come back to life and required an update. Check out video one to get the history of this project and then the follow-up to see what happened after I opened the case. And please, do forgive the poor audio quality in comparison to my current work. Those videos are over a year old and recorded on my old microphone. Let's all hear it for equipment upgrades. I should have expected some form of activity based around the number 11 for Camdrome's return, seeing how it's the program's calling card. Last week, on July 11th, the old Twitter account for the game came off of private settings and set all of its images to a full blackout. I received an alert from a follower on Twitter that something had happened and took a look to find only the unlocked status and the blackout. Moments later, some of my Patreon supporters sent messages that Camdrome was tweeting and it wasn't just on blackout mode anymore. Now going under the name Ben Richards, the Camdrome account had turned its profile image to a picture of Randy Quaid's character from Independence Day, during the moment in which he attacks the aliens and shouts, Hello boys, I'm back. The profile banner is from the film adaptation of George Orwell's novel 1984, and the name Ben Richards is a reference to the main character of The Running Man, a novel and movie that, like 1984, is about a dystopian future. The first tweet that came through was retracted almost immediately after being posted, FCB 1310275913. This turned out to be a link to a video on Lively containing an interview with Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, a serial killer during the 1980s. The tweet that replaced this was a coded message using a method that seemed impossible to initial viewers. It wasn't Base64 or any of the usual techniques used in alternate reality games. One of the early followers on the scene, Orion Speedwagon on Twitter, managed to solve it in just about 15 minutes. The message was made of YouTube URL codes that were split up using the number 11. Putting the video tiles together got the word across. Hush. I'm not who you think I am. I'll be back. Somebody's watching me. The tweets that followed were either direct YouTube links like I ran by Flock of Seagulls, or coded messages like the first. Here's what we're given through decoding. Please and thank you. Stop. They are watching me. I'm not the one. I lied. Sorry. This is not a game. I'm being followed by Camdrome. It might be worth noting the final YouTube URL in that sequence for the name Camdrome led to my first video on the subject. Pretty eerie to see that pop up on the screen during my own decoding. The tweets that followed were links to videos and articles we were meant to gain insight from rather than take direct meaning in writing. The music video for I Don't Know by the Sheepdogs, someone on Reddit asking if anybody has successfully pretended to be somebody else online, and a scene about the first rule of Fight Club, which is, of course, don't talk about Fight Club. The situation viewers were dealing with became very clear at this point. We were talking with a victim of Camdrum that somehow gained access to the Twitter account. They called themselves Ben Richards because they were the running man, trying to escape the surveillance of Camdrum. Escaping surveillance is a major part of the novel and movie 1984, referenced in the banner image. YouTube URLs were being used for getting messages across to escape detection by Camdrome, and the Twitter account for the system itself was the only place to gain the right attention because any followers would be aware of what Camdrome actually is. Beyond getting word out to an audience that understands what's happening to some degree, Ben Richards doesn't know what to do now. All they know is that they need to disappear online and do so immediately. He needs us to tell him now, but in doing so, we can't write the name Camdrome. The first rule of Fight Club is that you don't talk about Fight Club, so don't say Camdrome. Ben presses his point by sharing an article about director James Gunn confronting a Marvel Studios boss imposter on Instagram. At this time, while trying to get screen caps of everything being shared before it was deleted, I told my followers on Twitter not to use the name Camdrome while trying to help this guy. The system must be receiving notifications whenever it's mentioned online, so if we use it in replies to the Twitter, we let it know it's been compromised. The warning came way too late though, or the game was already set against us on this one. The moment I tweeted out, Ben Richards announced, I got caught. He asked, what do you think it was like when someone discovered the pretenders? The final message from Ben Richards was the clearest of all. Time to go, with the song, On the Road Again. At the end of the activity, Camdrome's runaway victim had left behind 11 tweets.
Now changes have occurred on the Camp Drum website, and so far, no updates from the Twitter account since July 11th, but as far as getting good stuff out of the blue goes, you can't do much better than a surprise like this. It's always worth hoping there will be more soon, but if it takes a while to see more from Camdrome, we can all finally rest knowing the game is still very much on. We've learned more than just the status of the system now. We know that it's actively haunting victims, and while Camdrome does appear to be dangerous, it's not actually impossible to pull tricks on. It does have weaknesses and blind spots, and even though most of the stories that open on a runaway victim don't see them survive at the end, we've got somebody out there who's aware of Camdrome and slipped away. Let's hope for their sake and ours that they'll speak to us again and show that, for at least the moment, they're still alive. It's always exciting to get updates like these and I look forward to supplying you all with more. Major thanks to all of you for watching, and to all of my supporters on Patreon, who make it possible to keep on top of any and all cases of murderous malware as soon as it shows up. Stick around to the end of this video to see all of their names. Thanks for joining me in the dark again this evening. Once more, I'm Nick Nocturne, and like I hope will be the case with our new friend Ben Richards, I'll be seeing you again real soon. Remember to cover up your laptop webcams, turn on your virus protection, and sleep tight.